Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back again in another podcast. But remember, I mentioned the word podcast haphazardly and randomly because it's very common expression and that uh, we get to hear it often on a daily basis. So I'm using this um, expression not to um, <clears throat> promote for any kind of marketing voiceover um, or any type of voice. I am using the word podcast to tell you that this is a regular video that I am planning to do on a daily basis to help you engage more with English language. Now, how do we engage with English language? There are actually multiple sources. And one of these sources is to engage with any kind of source of language. Any source of language that you understand, you engage with, can be one of the ways you can improve your English through and accordingly. Um, let's think of, for example, the uh, Google podcast or YouTube podcast or any sort of podcast that uh, um, is used online in any one of the topics or themes that are really common and prevalent in uh, the market right now. Some people say, well, every day I wake up, I start uh, watching videos about technology or watching videos about cars or engines or airplanes or air conditions or um, lights. Well, to be honest, these are really valuable source for your language learning progress uh, because they give you quality of meaningful expressions through language. Uh, the whole purpose of language is to understand and be understood, and I've reiterated that on multiple occasions. If you understand what I'm saying right now, and I'm pretty sure you understand me, if you understand every single word, if you understand 85%, if you understand 50%, that is actually level of understanding to get you act and respond. And that can evidently be good motivation to push you forward in your progress of language learning. Any learning uh, can happen, but it happens incrementally and gradually, and to some extent, randomly. Um, consistency is a must and necessary, but sometimes people will feel bored when you're treating them in a consistent way. No, uh, pushing hard on yourself, trying to diversify your sources of engagement and your sources of learning. Uh, try something new and different and suitable to your needs. And when I say suitable to your needs is don't try something that is extremely challenging. Leave plus one point between you and the level that you are trying to progress to. As I mentioned, uh, language progress happens incrementally. And the incremental process of language learning does not happen over a short period of time. It takes months, if not years. To be honest, it takes years. Let's say a year and a half to probably five years. So you should be patient and take small portions of language and language will grow naturally and organically with you and form the beautiful second personality. So don't take things in a rushed way. Just because you have good motivation to learn language today or tomorrow does not mean that you will have uh, language motivation uh, two months or four months later. People fall under psychological pressure and uh, people fall under societal pressure and people fall under some uh, personal pressures. And that will culminate in people's uh, feeling demotivated. So take things slowly, carefully, and try to slow down and distribute the amount of motivation that you have over spaced learning. Now, taking snippets and small portions of language gradually and over a longer span of time is better than taking a big lumps of uh, language 
over a short period of time because that is going to eventually ricochet and goes back, projected back on you, on your response to language. And that is uh, going to probably contribute to your lack of motivation. Um, don't let your motivation balloon instantaneously, but let it extend, uh, let it uh, engage, let yourself uh, be part of a speaking community that uh, puts English as their own target um, and inspire to learn more. Be curious. That is actually a must. If you're curious, you would definitely be able to reach to the kind of goals that you're planning to get to. But don't restrict yourself to certain grammar uh, style or certain method or certain approach. Try to listen to me and to as many English teachers as possible. Uh, that is going to distribute your knowledge uh, through uh, space and time. Um, don't feel that what I say now is um, decisive. Um, actually, everything we say is is subject to multiple interpretations and translations and different understanding uh, patterns. So do not feel restricted, but you need to find the best way where you categorize yourself as a type of learner and follow that pattern and that path. Uh, for example, some people categorize themselves as experiential learners. They learn by experience. And because of so, they try to find as many experiential uh, methods and styles and patterns and experiments through experience. So they do tasks, they engage with people, uh, they become part of a small community of language speakers. Some people love to listen more, so you find them listening to Kindle books, audiobooks on their phones, they listen through their way to work or coming back from more commuting in buses or uh, transportation, all varieties of transportations. Some people like to watch, so you find a lot of people uh, of this type watch so many movies. They devour Cinemana and other uh, platforms that offer free access to movies and TV shows. So, and there is a third eclectic um, and randomized number of people who combine all of them and just every day try something different. And I'm one of those people. Like one day you find me listening to an audiobook, the next day, I am reading a book. The next day, I am engaged with a small speaking community on Telegram or Facebook or YouTube. Uh, the next day, I'm listening uh, to an audiobook. The next day, I'm uh, watching a movie. So diversification or the diversity of your learning process is going to help you uh, minimize the amount of um, boredom that you have through the process of language learning and that is going to add up incrementally as I said to where you feel more satisfied and uh, feel that your language is, is communicative it lets people understand what you want to understand so that's our podcast subjects of today the categorization of your learning process and uh, the type of learners and also that the engagement that you have to push yourself through uh, in order to achieve your targets and your goals with language learning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.